Yo guys, what's going on? I am George and this is You Wanna Watch. Welcome back to another Sunday flea market haul. If you happen to be new here, I do a flea market haul every single Sunday and I do restorations every single Wednesday. So without any further ado, let's jump into this flea market haul. This is a good one. Let's go. Alrighty guys, well, I say we jump right into it. First, let me start off with this cantilever toolbox that I picked up. It's in really good shape. I'm quite happy to have it. Um, I needed some more tool storage and uh, I got it with this box right here. So, quite happy to have gotten this. Slide that off to the side. With this toolbox, I also got a handful of wrenches, a Stanley Bailey number six, and two spoke shaves. So let's go through this real quick. All this, so the Stanley, the wrenches, the spoke shaves, and the toolbox was $40. Uh, not too bad. Uh, these are both Stanleys. This is a uh, 51, number 51, and this one is a Stanley 151. So quite happy to have both of these. They do not have irons. But that's okay. Uh, I have extra irons for these, so quite happy to have those. This Stanley Bailey is in relatively bad shape, um, but I know that I can save it. It's a number six. It's kind of sought after. The handle is broken. I have a spare handle, so that's not a biggie. Um, the iron is in really good shape, to be honest with you. Um, that was my deciding factor on grabbing this. The sole needs a bit of work. She needs a total bath and some evapo rust, vinegar, something to get all that rust off there. Uh, we got quite a few good little wrenches in that toolbox as well. These, most of these are, we'll see, this is a Buffalo Barclow. Most of these are Williams. So. These are all Williams, one Barcolo Buffalo, one little S wrench. Um, it's nothing spectacular, just a little S wrench. This one's kind of a cool craftsman. This is the uh, Underline C. Um, I'm quite happy to have that one. It's a big sucker too, so I like that. So yeah, not bad for 40 bucks. Uh, $12. I got this pile right here. Um, I've got a Swanson angle finder. It's kind of cool. A 1299 cast iron utility knife. Awesome. I love that. Um, I got a pair of linesmen's here. These are, these are Klein and it's got the little guy there on the, the pole. But what's cool, bell systems. Pretty sweet, right? So, and the grips are in really good shape. Like those a lot. Uh, I got a pair of channel lock parrots like these. They're missing the grips, but you know, still cool to get. Got a Craftsman utility knife. It's not a bad one. I got this gimmicky Craftsman. It's, it says grip and drive. Um, I've seen these before, never picked them up. Um, so it just free spins. But when you put pressure on the handle, it'll grip and you can turn it. So anyway, got that. Got the set of colorful nut drives here. So there they are. Quite happy to have gotten these. And these are all Craftsman as well. And a little tack hammer. I can't read the maker on there, but eventually I'll get it cleaned up and we'll figure out who made it. So. That's not a bad 12 bucks right there. Quite happy with that. Um, $10 right here. I got two little tape measures. This one you can't really read. Well, you can't read it at all. But this one is a Craftsman. I think that one is pretty cool. It's the first time I've seen a Craftsman one. So I grabbed that. Got another dog bone kind of cool I grabbed this thing just because it was in there I don't even know what it is it needs some serious cleaning but the end clicks 
I'm sure it's something for a machinist, which is way out of my element. But uh, yeah, I just saw it and I was like, yeah, I'll take it. Uh, I got another red diamond adjustable wrench. I'm pretty sure I already have the 8 inch one, but I just grabbed it anyway because it's a red diamond. Uh, I got another machinist style low profile offset screwdriver. I got a nice little Craftsman underline. This is 9 16 and half inch offset. Got this awesome proto half inch line wrench. That thing is sweet. And then all these, with the exception of this one, these are all protos. Almost got the whole set of protos there. So that'll go in my Flying Lady um, little tool roll that I have. This one's a plum, and it's, uh, I think it's 7 16 Yes, it is. Plum. Plum, 7 16 Not bad. But the star of the show today, hands down, is got to be what I picked for $35. That's right, guys. You heard it. $35. Look at that. Is that not the cutest little vice you've ever seen? This isn't the baby. This is like the toddler. Uh, I think it's nine inches overall from here to here. Um, this, this thing is awesome. It does have some issues. It's got bent handles and all sorts of stuff like that, but that's nothing that we can't fix here on the channel. I think I might keep it the original paint job. Keep it as original as possible. I don't know yet, but uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with this. So, and $35. I can't believe it. So, that is that. Alrighty guys, well we are all done with this one. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. Don't forget to put in the comment section what you think your favorite find of today was. Um, without trying to sway your vote, I already know what mine is. So, just saying. Alright guys, like always, stay safe, be safe. We'll see you next week with another. Bye.